This snippet is using sample data in Sketchflow. My name is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to use the sample data feature in Sketchflow to simulate the appearance of data in your prototype. Concepts covered include adding sample data sources, data binding, and modifying the appearance of a list box. So you want to open the Snowboard Online project associated with this snippet, and then within the Sketchflow map, double click on the board screen to access this screen here. Now what we'll be doing here is putting in sample data representing snowboard images inside this box under the all-terrain header. However, we actually can't use this box right away because it's a sketch rectangle and that will not accept data. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and then delete it. What I need to use is a sketch list box. In order to add this, I'm going to go into the assets library, expand styles, find sketch styles, and then choose list box sketch. Now, I'll click and drag to add that list box sketch here. So in fact, this list box looks very similar to the rectangle, however, it's also very different. It can now accept data. So let's go ahead and make sure it's selected, and then choose Window, Data. This opens up the data panel. You'll want to make sure that project is selected, and then in the upper right-hand corner, click on this icon here and add sample data source. We're going to choose the first option, Define New Sample Data. The Define New Sample Data window appears. Let's go ahead and give this a good name, such as Snowboard Data, and then click OK. And what this will do is automatically define some sample data. So here we've got two properties, Property 1 and Property 2. Let's go ahead and look at these by clicking on this icon here in the Collection section called Edit Sample Values. So we can see here that the sample values are named property 1 and property 2. We can change those in a moment, but for now, let's look at property 1. Right now it's text or a string. Let's go ahead and click on this icon here to change the property type from string to an image. Now by default, images of furniture will appear. So it's good to know that whatever Sketchful application you might be using, you can populate some sort of image. However, we're going to take it a step further and we're going to use our snowboard images. Let's go ahead and press Browse, and then navigate to our Sample Data folder inside this Project folder, and choose Snowboard Files, and select that folder. Now we can see that images of snowboards have appeared. But let's go ahead and change Property 2 by clicking on this icon, clicking on the menu, and choosing String. So this is now generic lorem ipsum text. Let's go ahead and press OK. So let's go ahead and change the property names by double-clicking on the name, and then we'll type images. And for property 2, we'll double-click that, and we'll call this text. Now in order to bind this data, all we need to do is click on this collection icon here, and bring it right on top of the list box. As soon as we let go, we'll see that it's now populated with our data. You'll see some scroll bars have automatically appeared, but let's go ahead and do one last thing before we preview this in the player. We're going to go ahead and make sure that the width of the snowboard image actually matches the width of the list box. In order to do this, we need to edit this template. We need to go ahead and right-click on that list box and choose Edit Additional Templates, Edit Generated Items, because of course these are the items generated by the data binding. We'll then choose Edit Current, because we want to edit this current list box. Once we do that, we're going to want to make sure that we can see these items by choosing Window, Objects, and Timeline. So here we can see the item template. We've got two pieces here. We've got a stack panel, which is simply stacking all of those objects, and then we've got Image and Text Block. Go ahead and click on Image. This is exactly what we want to change. We're going to go ahead and click and drag to the right until that snowboard hits the edge of the list box and now we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and choose Project, Run Project. And once the Sketchflow player appears, we're going to go ahead and press Map, and then we'll click and drag over, and we'll click on the Boards Map. And there we have it. We can now see our sample data is currently populated within this list box. We've got a working scroll bar here. Now if we wanted to take this further, we could go ahead and change the style of the text below. However, for now, this is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.